outfit of the day. Just kidding. I am off to grab some black tea. I'm out of my tea bags, which is very unfortunate. I'm like a tea addict, so I gotta go get some more. Luckily, we have a tea place literally outside our building. This will take two minutes. Good morning, guys. I have my tea. I'm back at home. I'm sorry this video has been all over the place so far. I'm just... Ugh, there's a lot going on. I do want to intro this video because I'm excited about it. This video is going to be a little bit different to my usual videos because I'm going to take you through a whole week with me. This Sunday we have a shoot for Bloom. We're driving about an hour away into New Jersey and we're shooting at a really cool gym. And I am the model for this shoot. Normally I like to get girls of various backgrounds, different shapes, sizes, colors, but we've never really done a shoot with just me, so it's about time. I want to make sure I feel my best and look my best for this Sunday, so I just feel confident, like, ready to freaking slay. I want to show you guys kind of what I do in a week prior to a photo shoot, so how I would prep for a photo shoot. This is definitely applicable if you are getting ready for a vacation, if you're getting ready for an event, whatever it might be. So I wanna give you guys some tips and tricks throughout the week to prep for an event. I'll show you some meals here and there. This is not gonna be like a full day of eating. That's that. Right now, I have a work call to go over some labels. Then we're gonna make breakfast and I'm gonna show you kind of like what I focus on in the morning. Love you guys so much. Let's get into the video. Hello. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Good. Okay guys, that meeting's done. Ugh, things have been crazy around here. I've been getting more and more requests for Greg and I to talk about our business and how we built what we have. And we've never really talked about that just because I guess we were worried that it wasn't what you guys wanted to hear about, but it seems like now you want to hear about it. Please excuse our apartment. Pretty messy right now. Our lives have been very crazy. This week I am going to be very consistent with my greens. I almost always am anyway. I take them every single morning before I eat. You guys probably know this, but the greens are Bloom's top selling product. It just has amazing ingredients and so many servings of fruits and veggies. And I suck at getting in my vegetables, so this is crucial for me. This product definitely went a little bit viral. So we have sold out like three times now and we keep ordering more and more and more. They are getting produced right now. They're gonna be restocking next week. So around March 2nd or 3rd. So put that in your calendar. Go follow the Bloom page if you wanna grab some of these. I'm gonna be really consistent with these this week because I have a photo shoot. It's going to aid you in your digestion and fight bloat. To me, ours tastes like a sweet berry matcha. So yeah, I thoroughly enjoy the taste of our greens and everyone else does too. We've never had a complaint about taste. Bottoms up. So now that I've had my greens, I'm going to make my usual breakfast. I wanna try to keep my diet like as regular as possible this week. So foods that my body is used to and I know that I digest well. I'll show you guys when it's done and yeah. Talk to you soon. Here is my breakfast, guys. I've been super into this Ezekiel English muffin situation lately. They're really good. So I'm having one of those, three whole eggs and some blueberries. I'll show you what muffins I like because I know you guys are gonna ask me. These. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm about to head to the gym. Today I'm training shoulders and abs. I'm definitely gonna make sure I get in my ab workouts this week because I tend to skip them, <laughs> but I've been good about it lately. So every upper body day I've started training abs and I wanna make sure I do it this week. I see a big difference when I train abs consistently and training abs helps your core in general stay strong during other exercises like glutes or whatever it may be. So. Definitely gonna make sure I train my core this week, get them popping for the shoot. What are you training? Arms. So yeah, maybe I'll show you guys a little bit of my ab workout. Training shoulders in the crowded dumbbell area is not the best, not the best place for filming. I have my mango pre-workout today and I'll see you at the gym. So guys, we are currently walking to the gym. Greg's filming me apparently. I wanted to give you a quick pointer about cardio because that's probably my number one question. How much cardio I do or what type of cardio I do. This is pretty much the extent of the cardio I do. Exactly. Since we live in the city, we do get the opportunity to walk a lot. So we walk to the gym, which is like a 15 minute walk. We walk to the grocery store, we walk Lulu, we walk everywhere. We used to do this in Colorado too. 
just try to move as much as possible. I don't do any strict gym cardio, just walk a lot. And honestly, it's helped me stay much leaner than I used to when I drove everywhere. It's also just by far the most sustainable option. I don't think it's sustainable for your whole life to say, I'm gonna go on a treadmill for 30 minutes. But to say, I'm gonna make sure I try to park a little further when I go to Target, or if I'm gonna try to take a walk when I have my lunch break, that's a sustainable thing you could do for your whole life. The facts. And get that sunlight. I'm trying to stick with like my usual diet. So I went ahead and got poke, which is definitely normal for me. I digest seafood really well. So I got white rice, salad, three proteins, and then I'm just hydrating. And that's it. When we're out and about in the city and we're not people who are gonna run around with Tupperware in our backpacks, unless it's a severe situation, uh, the two things that we'll type into Google Maps to try to find something healthy to eat is Okay, spot. And two, we literally just type in healthy cafe. Or matcha. Yeah, well, healthy cafe, matcha bar. A healthy cafe would have matcha. Yeah. Yeah. So, healthy cafe or poke place. And then that's like a pretty good, healthy, under $50 lunch almost every time. See you guys. Good morning guys. It is a couple of days later now. I didn't vlog too much yesterday because it was a rest day, didn't have too much to show you guys, and it was a little bit of a stressful day. Today I'm having a little bit of a, not a different breakfast, but just like an elevated breakfast, I guess, because um, after this I have to go thrust, which is literally like the most taxing exercise out of all the exercises I do. So it requires a lot of energy. So I wanted to show you guys what I eat on a day like that. From where? Oh, hi, Greg. Cheers. You're so good at vlogging. So here's my breakfast, three whole eggs. <coughs> Are you kidding me that you're ruining my audio like this? <laughs> three whole eggs, a packet of oats with half a banana and some chia seed almond butter, and then my greens. And I already took my hair skin and nails. All right, check me out. This is the reason this is the best possible pre-workout meal. And this is your pre-workout meal no matter what time of day you're eating it. In this case, it's Mari's first meal of the day, but this would be a perfect pre-workout meal any time of the day. Why? Eggs. Most people, 90% of people, digest eggs really well. So you first rule is you want a meal that's going to digest well. You don't want things sitting in your stomach because then your body's going to be using energy to literally digest food instead of using energy to crush your workout. Eggs, super easily digested protein, at least for Mari. You know, if you don't digest them well, maybe try a different protein source. Oats, Mari digests oats really well. There's not a ton of oats here. It's not like she's gonna be stuffed after this, but it's the perfect amount to kind of give her body the, the glycogen stores and the carbohydrates for her workout. There's a banana, which is a e super easily digested carbohydrate. There is a nut butter. A nut butter has this really unique property where it slows down the digestion and the blood sugar spike that you'll get from a carbohydrate. Having the nut butter with these easily digestible carbs will prevent Mari from just crashing mid-workout, like her energy crashing mid-workout, and it will almost sustain the release of that carbohydrate and sustain the spike in blood sugar, because that's what happens when you have carbohydrates. She's having a perfect balance of all macronutrients, three whole eggs, and they're uh, pasture-raised organic eggs, but if that, you know, if you don't have the budget for that, just a normal budget egg would be fine. Super easy, and then greens every morning, Avi. Avi! My breakfast. Okay. No one. <laughs> Scoop, yeah, since you asked. Scoop of whey isolate, because I digest whey isolate really, really, really well. So does Mara, she just chooses to have it post-workout. I mix it in cream of rice, and then I also add a scoop of almond butter. For all you boyfriends out there that might watch this with your girlfriend, that's what you should eat. I'm gonna eat this breakfast and head to the gym. I'll check in with you guys later, because today I have some photo shoot prep things. We have a spray tan happening. I'll fill you in on my tanning tips. Talk to you guys soon update for you guys i'm in bed right now even though it's the middle of the day because i am not feeling great Ugh, today i went to the gym and i was training glutes and just like mid thrust 
I felt like really dizzy and I couldn't like orient myself. It felt really weird. I finished my workout, but the whole time I was like, ugh, something's off. I'm really hoping this goes away. I actually rescheduled my spray tan. She comes to the house, so that's good, or to the apartment. She's coming tomorrow and I have an eyelash appointment tomorrow. Right now I'm trying to take it easy, but it's a little difficult because a lot of our job doesn't stop like we can't really take breaks so i'm just kind of working from bed right now this is off topic but this morning was really really awesome because i got an email from someone that i admire so much i don't want to say what it's about yet but it's a magazine that i have dreamed of being featured in since i began this journey and my page they want to work with me so i'm i was jumping up and down this morning literally in the roundabout outside of our apartment i'll insert a video but i was so 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 excited and i'm you know it's just an honor so i really hope that works out <sighs> i'm gonna try to rest some more and i'll check in with you guys a little bit later oh my god this lighting is like the worst the worst What's up you guys? I'm not feeling the best. I'm trying to have some energy for you, but it's just Woo! I wanted to come on here because I am dedicated to this vlog. I want to show you guys what I'm doing, what I'm eating, how I'm feeling. I want to show you an example of a dinner that I've been having this week, which I'm loving, loving this dinner. It is a taco bowl. I love taco bowls. In here I have brown rice, ground turkey, some like tomatoes, onions, couple of beans and a little sprinkle of cheese. It's amazing, high protein, it makes me feel great. I really enjoy eating it and that's really where I'm at. It's 8.30 right now, I'm hoping to be in bed in like an hour. <laughs> so praying I feel better tomorrow. Tomorrow I have a bunch of like beauty appointments I wanna take you to. I'm going to the gym, um, I have some meetings and stuff. So I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I feel good. Love you, see you then. natural than this and for some reason i think i had a new lady today but she just really piled them on so i met up with greg and he gave me this little rose how cute we're headed back to brooklyn right now check out these views Okay guys, I'm back home. I had some dinner. The spray tan lady is getting here soon. Her name is Emily, she's amazing. Before she gets here, I am going to take a shower. I wanted to give you guys some tips on like pre-spray tan, pre-self-tanner prep. I do this every single time. So I have this exfoliating glove called Derma Suri. I got it on Amazon. I will link it down below for you guys. But I use this just to get off any like old tan, any old dead skin cells and then i'll shave everything and then i try not to use like a lot of soap and i won't put deodorant on you don't want anything sticking to your skin and getting in the way of that tan i usually don't have her spray my face because i have super sensitive skin and i'm enjoying having clear skin for once in my life so i'm gonna get like a medium slash dark spray tan because that usually shoots better so yeah i'm gonna hop in the shower and then get sprayed <laughs> Guys, the spray tan is complete. Okay, so this is from my other spray tan and this is from the one I just got. Clearly I get a lot of spray tans. Good morning guys, it's shoot day today. Woohoo! Little bit of change in plans. Our photographer had an emergency with her apartment and we didn't want to like make her come all the way out to New Jersey and it was just, we felt bad. So we're going, just Greg and I, we're still gonna get a bunch of content. We're gonna film some workout videos. We're gonna get some bloom content done. So I've got all my gym stuff, all my supplements and then we packed snacks, some outfit changes. So we are ready to go. I didn't show you guys because we've been kind of rushing around, but this morning I had my greens, I had some eggs, some avocado, and I'm heading out the door. The reason I didn't have carbs is because that can make me look a little more full 
rather than the fats that kind of don't push your stomach out as much so i'm gonna just have fats this morning and that's a great source of energy for me so i feel good and then after the shoot greg and i have a reservation at pastis which is a french restaurant in manhattan hey guys so yeah i'm excited for that lulu's actually coming with us to the shoot so she's gonna have a full gym to run around which is gonna be so funny let's go Dad works. Hey, Dad. Guys, we just got to our space. So cool. Greg's just setting up some space so we can film a workout. How's filming going? It's gone good. I love this place. Just finished the shoot. We got some food. We had a ton of fun. What do you think about it? Thought it was dope. I thought, you know, our, since since we started this channel, we've been filming at gyms during public hours, generally during rush hours. Yeah. And uh, now that we can like afford to rent out a space and get one more quality content for you guys, and two, have just a more enjoyable experience doing it, and maybe in the process not ruin anyone else's workout. <laughs> which is really nice. Yeah, it was really successful. We got so much content and yeah, had so much fun. So we're headed home now. I'm going to close out this vlog. Thank you for following me on this week. I feel like I've been talking to you guys for such a long time. Had so much fun doing it. Let me know in the comments below any ideas for what you want us to film next. Love you guys so, so much and I'll see you in the next video.